Welcome back Portal Masters, SCL Matt here. And today I have some good stuff to show you. This is the best of the best. This is the best things that I picked up in 2023, or really the second half of 2023. 2023 was good year overall. And in the second half in particular, I picked up some very large collections. In fact, the, the largest personal collection that I have ever purchased from someone, uh, the most money I spent on one personal collection, uh, that happened in the second half of 2023. And that's the bulk of what I'm gonna show you today. I'm not gonna go through the entire collection, obviously. Honestly, much of it has been sold already, the common stuff, but the, the high-end pieces that I have been holding on to for a little bit. I haven't quite sold yet. I do want to show off to you. And some of them I'm going to be keeping. Some of these pieces I still need for my own personal collection. And we're going to see how low we can get that number. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I, I recommend you do go watch some of them, whether they're the road trip videos or my personal collection videos. And Eventually, you'll see that uh, we only need 26 more pieces. If you want to see exactly which pieces those are, you can go check out those videos. Uh, otherwise, I am going to show you what I'm adding to the collection today, along with other high-end stuff that you could potentially add to your collection. Now, I wasn't quite sure what the best way to go about this was, but I figured the simplest is just going to go game by game. So let's start at the beginning with Spyro's Adventure. From Spyro's Adventure, I managed to pick up four big pieces that we're gonna show off today. Uh, number one is this here, Crystal Clear Whirlwind. I, I don't think there's really a good way to show this off on camera too much uh, because like I said, it's, it's crystal clear. Um, but hopefully you get the idea. This one is out of box, but it's in fantastic shape. Second, we have another out-of-box figure, one of my favorites, because it is my boy, Red Camo. Red Camo, of course, that goes along with the Clear Whirlwind. Uh, they were kind of released at the same time. They have the same uh, backstory, if you will, as to how they were released. But as you may also know, I already have this in my collection. So this is one of those pieces that is actually going to be up for sale sometime this year. We had two out-of-box pieces first, but now we have two in-box pieces to show off here. Uh, here is a flocked stump smash. So this would have been a Frito-Lay giveaway piece. New in-box here. The box does have a few imperfections that, of course, I'll show off before uh, we put it up for sale anywhere. Uh, most of these will probably be in some sort of auction, I would imagine, uh, whether on the private auctions on the site here or uh, on whatnot if I do a public auction over there. But Flock Stump Smash. Then we also have Pearl Hex. So Pearl Hex, as you might be able to read here, was a Toy Fair exclusive, um, at specifically Toy Fair in Nuremberg. Uh, Toy Fair in the US, Toy Fair New York actually got that metallic purple cinder the same year in 2012, uh, but Pearl Hex was for Toy Fair in Nuremberg. That's all I have to show you for Spyro's Adventure, so let's move on to Giants. Continuing that trade show exclusive, we have our E3 hot dog figure. Um, so this one printed on the box says E3 and licensing show edition right up there. You can see that. Uh, but we've, we've called this thing a number of things over the years, copper hot dog, color shift hot dog, whatever you want to call them. It's the E3 release for this year. Then the only other piece from Giants I have to show you is this here employee edition. So during the holidays, uh, the employees at Activision often got a exclusive figure released just to them. It was never released at retail stores. And so this is the employee exclusive light core prism break. Um, it's got that gold coloration with a little bit of snow flocking on the back there. 
it, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And thankfully this one still in box. So very small numbers of things from Spyro's Adventure and Giants, but as we move into Swap Force, not only did the number of figures increase, but the numbers of variants increased, and therefore the number of variants that I have today has also increased. So let's get started. First up, we have this Gold Fire Kraken. So this is a dev edition. So it wasn't just employee edition in this case, uh, but specifically, well, okay, this box has come separated, just so you know where there, but the dev team. So this was the only year we, we saw them do this where they made a special one just for the development team and a separate figure for uh, the employees overall of Activision. But that gold fire kraken, I know I've had a few of these recently that uh, you've seen in other videos perhaps, but this one is the only one I've gotten recently that has the actual box to go with it, even though it is separated. Speaking of employee editions though, we do have the employee edition for this year, Snowder Dash. This one actually got an exclusive name, which wasn't usually a thing up until now. It was usually just marked as an employee edition and that type of thing. Like they have the employee edition marking up here, uh, but this one actually has a new name in Snowder Dash. It's on the front of the box. It's on the back of the box here. Um, the only place they didn't put it, which is maybe a good thing, but uh, is on the, the trading card in the back. So that's just your light core Smolder Dash trading card in this box. Uh, but everything else does say Snowder Dash. But we got that one in box as well. Then moving back to the trade shows again, we have Red Dune Bug. So Red Dune Bug was our Toy Fair edition for 2014 for, for the Swap Force year there. Uh, but great looking package here, great looking figure, all in the box. Moving away from employees and trade shows and all that stuff, here's a little bit more of an oddball, but flocked springtime trigger happy. So the fun part about this, pretty sure there are only 1,500 of these made, or at least 1,500 released into retail situations. Because uh, it was part of a giveaway at one point, and so there was some fine print they had, and we, we, we got an actual number about this. So many people have springtime trigger happy. Not everybody has the flocked edition. In the US here, they were released um, basically one per Toys R Us location. I think it was actually like one per case of figures, uh, but a lot of stores only got one case of these figures and therefore they only got one flocked edition. So very hard to come by. Um, I have been shocked in my time here doing this selling figures that I've gotten my hands on. I think this might be number five or six. I'd have to go back and check but it, it, it's a, a, a much larger number than I would have expected for how rare these figures are. Now, one of the other things we saw in Swap Force was the continuation of kind of sets of chase variants. We saw some of this in the early games with Spyro's Venture. We had the silver, the three silver figures, the three gold figures. In Giants, we had the metallic purple set. Um, like th there are a bunch of those where they had three different figures all with the same kind of alternate color scheme. The fun part here in Swap Force is that I actually have a few of those sets complete to show you. First up, one of my favorite sets is the green, the, the clear green, translucent green, however you want to reference it. But Green Chop Chop here is one I have been searching for for a very long time is joined by Green Riptide. This one's still in the box here. The box might be in rough shape, but the figure is there. It looks great. The box is doing its job protecting the figure. And then the third one in the set, also kind of in the box, but split up here, we do have Green Scorp. So complete set of three there. Um, Unfortunately, I do, like I said, I do need one of them. So I can't like sell the whole complete set, 
but we do have a few of them here that will be for sale at some point this year. And then if you're up to date on your Swap Force Chase variants, you may have guessed this was coming, but we have the three swappers. So here is the bronze and silver trap shadow, followed by the silver and gold stink bomb. And then of course, to round out the set, the gold and bronze doomstone. Now I've gotten a few of these over the years. I've, I've seen a few of them, had my hands on them, but this is the first time I think I've had the complete set of them in box. Uh, some of the boxes are starting to peel away. It looks like just a little bit. Uh, so they're not in perfect condition. There's some, some bends and some creases in the box here and there. But overall, this is a pretty good condition um, for what I usually see from these variants in particular. So we got all three of them. We got them in box. And um, like I said, most of this will probably be up for sale at some point this year. After Swap Force comes Trap Team. And once again, we have some stuff to show you. Now, as you know, Trap Team had a lot of figures, but it didn't have as many chase variants. Regardless, I have some stuff to show off. First up is this Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Eruptor. So if you're not aware, if you're not familiar with this figure, uh, it's probably because this is not a playable figure. And honestly, without the box, it's nothing at all. It's, it's, it's really nothing. It, it, it would fall apart if you took it out of the box, basically. Um, the way it's suspended in the box to look like it's floating, like it's the par uh, parade balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It was released right around that time. It was sent out to uh, members of the media to kind of promote Skylanders and the parade and the balloon and all that, that type of stuff. Uh, you can kind of see on the back here, once again, promoting all that. Uh, so it's a great display piece. The, the way they designed the box and all that type of thing. But once again, it does not actually work in the game. It, it tells you right on the back here, uh, toy does not come to life in Skylanders, the video games. So they did make that disclaimer there, but um, just so you know, it, it, it's not a playable figure. Some people don't want it in their collection for that reason, but I think it's fantastic. It's It's a beautiful, beautiful piece and I'm glad they they tried something a little bit different. Moving on though, we do actually have the chase variants for this year. So there are really only three major chase variants during Skylanders Trap Team. The clear tough luck here, and we have clear thunderbolt, and my personal favorite, clear shortcut. All in the box, beautiful, ready for someone's collection. And of course, those being the only chase variants in Trap Team, you might think, that that's it. What else you got to show me? Well, hold on. Just a minute. How about these beauties? Yes, I have finally gotten my hands on the Yawn Traps. We have the Light Yawn Trap. We have the Fire Yawn Trap. And to finish off the set, of course, the life yawn trap. But wait, there's more. What if I told you I got a second set of yawn traps? Don't believe me? How about now? We got two sets of yawn traps. Now these did not come from the same collection. Uh, these are from two separate collections. Like I said, most of what I bought uh, or I'm showing you today probably 90 to 95% of it did come from one collection. But these two, uh, yeah, did come from two separate collections. And uh, obviously I don't need them all. So once again, you will be seeing some of these up for sale this year. But with those out of the way, now we are done with Trap Team. And it's time to move on to everybody's favorite game, Superchargers. Now, Skylander Superchargers broke the mold in many different ways, but one of the ways was with the chase variants. We didn't see so much the sets of three that we saw previously, and I get it, it kind of made sense because in Superchargers, we had different kind of sets that they could pair together. 
the driver and the vehicle. So we got a lot of sets of two or sets of four uh, when it came to chase variants. And the good news is I have a few of those to show you today. First up, we have Bronze Bone Bash Roller Brawl. Bronze Bone Bash Roller Brawl. That's a mouthful for sure. But Roller Brawl is a fantastic figure already. Uh, got the Bronze Chase variant here. But then, of course, to go with that, we do have the Bronze Tomb Buggy. I'm glad to see both these in box. I don't know that I've had them both both in box before at least. I think I've had one or the other at various times. Uh, but yeah, nice to see the pair of them protected here and together. Next pair to show off, we have Patina High Volt here. So that was a chase variant that, uh, if you've been watching my videos recently, you know I, I have a few of these to sell. There may actually be some for sale in the shop right now if you want to go check that out but patina high volt we got a few of them there a little bit harder to find though is the vehicle the patina shield striker and to go along with that of course then we have patina lava lance eruptor so the second patina character and that would of course pair with the patina burn cycle so once again glad to see all of these in box some of the boxes are a bit rough. Uh, there's some creases, some dents along here, but uh, like I said, I'll, I'll show those off if and when any of these go to a uh, sale or auction or in the shop or whatever the case may be there. But uh, you'll, you'll get to see some of that up, up close and personal if you have any questions about it before you make that purchase. And then the final piece I have for superchargers today is of course that employee variant the this year was Snowbright Stormblade, so the employee exclusive holiday edition uh, for 2015 Snowbright Stormblade, beautiful beautiful piece. I I get why they want to reward their employees, but some of these pieces are just so pretty. It's a shame that we didn't get them in, at retail. I mean, even if it was just like an in-game variant, like I think this would have made a fantastic in-game variant. Same with uh, Snowder Dash that we had before. But uh, Snowbright Stormblade in the box, looking good. So with that, it's time to move on to our final game, Skylanders Imaginators. Now Imaginators, not only did it have some awesome variants, but it also has some of the hardest to find variants. This is partly due to the fact that just Imaginators figures in general were a little bit harder to find. I think few, there were less of them produced overall. Um, it's the last game, a lot of people want them, but then the chase variants just became so hard to find, so hard to get your hands on. And this collector that I bought from was very persistent and very good at hunting them down. Have been doing this for many, many years at this point, uh, collecting all the other figures along the way. And now we got to Imaginators and it's time to get them all. Start off with the no-brainer, the employee edition, December. So our holiday holiday employee edition of 2016, Master December. Uh, in the box there, once again, the, these holiday boxes are sometimes the best part of the figure. Um, like personally, I, I didn't care for this figure quite as much as some of the other holiday editions, but pair it with the box and you get the artwork up top there and stuff. And it's just, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. But then we move into the figures that you had to hunt down in stores, such as this pink Barbella. I don't know what to tell you other than these things are hard to find. I was in the stores every week, almost every day, looking, hunting, trying to find these Chase variant figures during Imaginators. And I only ever found one personally in stores. Um, we'll get to that eventually, but uh, Pink Barbella, we got one new inbox here. Next, we have a clear Starcast. Love this one as well. Starcast, one of my favorite Imaginators. Glad to see that he got a chase variant. Um, and we got that ready for you. Waiting to see if you are interested in that piece there. Now this next piece. If you've been following me for any amount of time, there's a good chance that you are aware 
I need this for my collection. We've talked about it many, many times. I know there's a lot of other people hunting for it as well, but I finally get to add back to my collection orange chain reaction. I did actually have my hands on this piece years ago, but there was a point where I sold off part of my collection. It included most of my chase variants. It's something I regret doing, but um, that's, I, I can't change it. It's in the past. All I can do is find him again. And I did, finally. Finally got my hands back on Orange Chain Reaction. So yes, this, this one will be staying with me as well. Then the final variant we have here is Rock Candy Peñata. There's multiple colors here, kind of a blue, green, yellow coloration. We, we didn't really know what to call them, so we came up with the name Rock Candy. Um, I know like the other ones with the pink Barbella is kind of pink and purple, but that we, 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 we went simple with those names. Um, this one ended up being called Rock Candy and it kind of stuck. So we do have, in fact, another Rock Candy Peñata. And no, this is not the one I sold recently in the shop. This is actually a different one. And Rock Candy Pinata is the one figure that I found myself personally in stores. So I already have this in my collection. So once again, this is actually the third copy of Rock Candy Pinata I've held in my hands. It, it, honestly, quite surreal. I, I just never would have expected that one either uh, for how hard this one has been to find for a lot of people to see three of them blows my mind. But what's even crazier is seeing four of them. So not only did this one collector get their hands on the single pack, but they also got the combo pack chase variant. Um, yeah, yeah. So now, yeah, I've held four Rock Candy Peñatas, um, and I currently have two of them that I don't need for my collection. So once again, these will be going out to one of your collections. Is it gonna be you? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Is this going to be you? Are you going to make that one yours? So that's the gist of what I have to show you. But, like I said, most of that came from one collection. There have been a few other small collections I've picked up here and there. Um, and they included some good stuff as well. So we'll just go through that quickly because I've already shown you off some of those figures. But we have another December figure. So, once again, just to show you, this is not the one I just showed you. Like, I have two of these in my possession right now. And we'll be selling most of this stuff throughout the year. Um, along those lines, I have a second clear star cast out of box. So th these will be coming to a listing near you at some point. Um, we actually have another pink Barbella. Unfortunately, this one is damaged. Um, it's the standard Barbella damage. Uh, so I don't know if I can show you this easily, but the the barbell broke off from its attachment point right here on her foot. Um, so this kind of, well, it's also kind of warped now. Um, that's part of the reason it broke is because it got bent. Uh, but yeah, so everything's still attached. And if you, if you just leave it like that, like most people won't even notice that anything's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, it is detached down here, and so this can move around a little bit. Um, but we have a pink Barbello, and I'm sure someone will be thrilled to add that to their collection. Um, oh, and we do, believe it or not, within the course of about three weeks this year, I went from having zero orange chain reactions in my possession to having two. So yes, not only do I get an orange chain reaction for my collection, but 
you might as well too. We'll find out. We'll find out. Time will tell. So I've touched on a few of them throughout this video. I've shown you, I've mentioned some of the things that I need for my collection, but let's make it official. Like I said, I was down to 26 items that I needed for my collection to get the complete 603 Skylanders items that I am trying to collect. So starting with 26, let's count them down. We are adding Green Chop Chop, Patina Lava Lance Eruptor, the Life Yawn Trap, the Fire Yawn Trap, Orange Chain Reaction, and one more piece I didn't show in this video already because it's kind of the last, Matt, why do you not have this in your collection piece? Uh, but I still hadn't recollected a Nitro Soda Skimmer. So I'm happy to say we are officially adding this to the collection now, which brings our total down to 19 pieces. I need 19 more pieces in my collection to consider it complete for now. I mean, there may always be ways to upgrade the collection, but on my checklist of items that I'm collecting, I need 19 more. That's all I got for today. If you like what you saw, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.